pull up the comments here. That way, I get it, I got it. Cat wants love too, I know. They're both, they're both uh, gonna join us for yoga class. All right, so I've got the comments up. I will do my best to try to respond, but we're gonna slip right into it's nine o'clock and time for tiny yoga. <laughs> All right, so find yourself a seat if you don't already have one. Um, you can be, again, the front seat of your car, although the back seat might work just a little bit better uh, if it's available. The edge of your bed, your um, dining room chair, your office chair, the edge of a bench in the park, wherever it is. Good morning, Joy, welcome to Tiny Yoga. We're doing it a little bit different this morning. Um, because I realized that I was giving myself a little too much room last time to do it. So we're going to shift a little bit this way, um, so that we can really keep tiny yoga, tiny, as tiny as possible. So find yourself a seat. And then once you found your seat, find the edge of your seat, bring yourself to the very edge of your seat, plant both feet on the ground. And if you can, knees at a 90 degree angle, which would put, or yeah, knees at a 90 degree angle, which puts your knees directly above your ankles. Go ahead and just rest your hands in your lap, feet flat on the ground, close your eyes, and we're gonna begin our practice the same way we always do with three deep breaths. Seal the lips, inhale through the nose, pull the breath through the lungs and into the belly. And sigh it out. Inhale once more, lifting the heart and elongating the spine. And let it go. Inhale again through the nose, expanding the ribcage in all directions, front, sides, and back. And release. Now, keeping your eyes closed, I invite you to ground your feet. Begin with the outsides of your feet, roll towards your toes, starting with your pinky all the way, connecting each of your toes all the way to your big toe down to the ground, and then in the uh, around the inside of your feet and around through your heels. So just make little circles, making very gentle contact, intentional contact all the way around your feet. Go around a couple of times, wiggling your toes, connecting your body to the ground. Whether you got shoes on or not, doesn't matter. Set that intention to ground out, to connect fully. Take a big deep breath in and sigh that one out too. We'll go ahead and feel free to open your eyes at any point whenever you're ready. We're gonna go ahead and move through just some warm ups. Begin with the neck, tilting the neck side to side, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. And then up and down, lifting your chin towards the ceiling, chin down towards your chest. We're not trying to overextend here, we're just warming up the muscles. Up and down, once more. Chin down and go ahead and rotate one direction. Soft circles. We're not overextending. We're not trying to get a bunch of crunching sounds in our necks. Sometimes it happens, yes, go ahead and reverse direction. But we're not trying for it. Just warming the muscles. Last one. And relax, bring your head back to center and move to your shoulders, inhale the shoulders up and exhale as you move them down and around in one direction. Inhale them up, exhale them down and around, inhale up, exhale down and around. Couple of rotations and switch directions, inhale them back up and exhale down and around the opposite direction. Relax your shoulders, coming back to neutral. And then just offer your spine a gentle twist. You can leave your hands on your thighs and just twist one direction 
moving only your torso and your shoulders and allowing your head to turn along with your torso, looking back over your shoulder. Again, we're not overextending here, just a gentle twist. And exhale back to center, twist the other direction. And exhale back to center. Now interlace your fingers, keeping your feet rooted on the floor. Interlace your fingers and press them up towards the ceiling. Again, if your space is limited, that's the whole point, right? If you don't have enough clearance overhead to have your arms fully extended, just bend your elbows and you can keep your fingers interlaced like so. If you're going up towards the ceiling, you're gonna have them open, palms up towards the ceiling. If they're going behind you, just keep them in a interlaced, I don't know what you call that, fist? I don't know. <laughs> with your elbows bent behind your head. Make sure that you're not causing yourself, your, your back to arch or your neck to arch. You want your back to remain, your spine to remain elongated and upright. And we're just reaching for a little bit of stretch in the, fore, in the upper arm and the bicep, and, excuse me, the tricep and the armpit area. Take a couple of breaths here. Send your elbows up towards the ceiling, or if you've got your arms extended, set the intention to send the energy up toward the ceiling. We're not trying to crunch our shoulders up to our elbows here, just sending the intention of sending the energy up through our shoulders, arms, and out, whether it be our elbows or our hands, without closing off the ears, without crunching up the shoulders. Take a couple of breaths here. Take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly release the arms and come all the way down into a forward fold as much as is available to you. So if you can only go about right here and stop with your elbows on your knees, that is fine. If you can make it further down and you're using your shins to brace yourself, fantastic. If you can make it all the way to the floor, that's wonderful too. Wherever you are, let your head hang. Hi, dog. And just take a few breaths here, big, deep breaths, allowing your rib cage to expand in all directions with each breath. Relax the muscles of the neck, relax the shoulders. And with each exhale, see if you can sink just a little bit deeper into your forward bend. Last breath. And then slowly inhale as you move your way back up. And as you do, give your legs a little squeeze all the way up. Make sure you don't forget your knees. This is the best part is the sides of the knees around the kneecap. Give your knees a little squeeze. Give your thighs a little squeeze. We're just going to do a minute of self, not a minute. Well, we're going to do a moment of self massage here. Go ahead and squeeze those thighs, squeeze those knees, get the tops of the thighs the sides of the thighs, the insides of the thighs, whatever feels nice, follow what your body needs in the moment, honor where you are. Just don't forget to reach around for the back of the legs, the inside of the legs, oh, the back of the knee is really nice. And then go ahead and wipe them down. Give them a quick wipe down. All right, now we're gonna move to lifting each thigh for a little variation of a forward lunge. Or excuse me, wind release. This is when we're doing wind release. So interlace your fingers underneath one thigh, doesn't matter which side, whichever one's available to you. Inhale, lifting the thigh up, allowing the rib cage to expand, keeping your spine elongated. And exhale, forward fold over to your knee. Try to bring your forehead to your knee. If you can just get your nose or your chin, that's fine, but we're reaching for the forehead to the knee as we exhale. Inhale, release the leg gently to the floor. Pause for a breath. 
Interlace your fingers underneath the other thigh. Inhale that thigh up. You can leave the foot resting or you can point the toe. Inhale it all the way up, expanding your rib cage, your spine elongated. And exhale, forward fold, show forehead to knee as best you can. Inhale, gently release and take a breath. We're gonna counter that with a modification of fish pose. So palms flat on the seat behind you, whether it's your chair or your bed, wherever you've got, get them nice and tucked up underneath your cheeks. We're not gonna put them, we're not gonna sit on our hands, but we're gonna bring our hands to the sides of our bottom here on each cheek and tuck them a nice and close to our bottom. Go ahead and give your elbows a little bit of a bend. Inhale, up, lifting the chin all the way to the ceiling and exhale, allowing your shoulder blades to melt down your back. Keeping the chin up, one more breath. and gently release, coming back to center. Pause for a moment to rest. And as I mentioned before, we are gonna move into a little bit of strength today. So we're gonna use chair pose, a modified chair pose. Yes, chair pose and chair yoga, yes. All right, so usually we have, you should probably have your knees at a 90 degree angle. I want you to tiptoe them in, scoot them in just a tiny bit so they're underneath your thighs. This is gonna help you balance as we move up into chair pose. So if you have the room for it, feel free to extend your arms up and use and keep those arms up and extended. You want those arms right about near your ears or the side of your head. You don't want them too far forward. So just a little bit angled forward if you don't have the space for that, bring your palms together at your chest. As we inhale, when you inhale, ground your feet and exhale up into chair pose. Take three breaths here. Just barely lifting your bottom off your chair. Lean back just a little bit if you can. Lean into your heels, see if you can wiggle your toes, relieve your toes of any pressure. Sit back on your heels, but not in your chair. One more full breath here. Inhale again and gently release. Make sure you find your chair as you come down. Release your arms and take a couple of breaths. We're gonna do that one more time, so get ready. You can either, again, extend your arms up and out, keeping your fingers extended, nice and strong, elongated spine, or you can bring your palms together at your heart. Inhale and exhale. Inhale up and forward to chair pose. And take several breaths here. Again, as you, after you get up, Release your toes. Oftentimes we tend to go forward on our toes. So release, release that pressure on your toes, leaning back into your heels, keeping your spine nice and elongated, ever so slightly forward. Chin looking forward, parallel to the ground. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, slowly release. Pause for a moment, give your thighs a little bit of a massage here, some little squeezes, squeeze into your knees. In fact, let's windshield wiper the knees just a little bit here after, after giving them a little bit of a workout, giving them some pressure. Windshield wiper them back and forth. And then we'll close out here with a side stretch and some breathing. So if you have the space for it, we can do a uh, gate pose. So for gate pose, take one leg, one side, and extend it out, both feet, or your, excuse me, 
your bent leg toes forward. The other leg, the extended leg, point your toes out. If you don't have the space to extend your leg, bring that from both knees bent, bring one knee open. And if you can just create enough space to open just one knee, then you can inhale your opposite arm up and reach over so that you're bending over that knee or over that extended leg. And again, reaching out for as much space as you have, try to find a nice side stretch here in that arch. Thank you, my friend. And take a couple of breaths here. Whether your leg is extended or it's just your knee here and you're using your elbow on your knee, reach out over. And if you don't have room overhead, again, you can always just bend your elbow. And again, set that intention to reach through that side body. Breathe for a nice side body stretch. Inhale back to center. Both knees forward, feet planted, 90 degree angle in the knees. That means your knees are right above your ankles. Pause for a breath. And then move to the other side. Again, either just opening the knee and keeping that knee bent or extending the leg out to the side and just using your that arm, the arm, same arm as the leg that you opened up. Use the opposite one to reach overhead for a nice side stretch. Again, if you can't extend your arm all the way, just bend your elbow and set that same extension for, intention for a nice side body stretch. Take a couple of breaths here. And inhale back to center. Bring the knees back, grounding the feet out one last time. So to close our practice, I would like to focus in again on our breath, allowing our breath to relax, to soothe any of the activity created in the body, right? After activity, we wanna take that moment to rest. So we're gonna practice three part breath. So you can either leave your palms on, your hands on your thighs here, or you can bring one hand to your heart, the other hand to your belly, as we focus in on our breath. So begin by inhaling, allowing the belly to extend first, the chest second, and the throat third. Set your intention to feel this belly, chest, throat, inhale, throat, contract, chest, relax, belly, contract, exhale. Follow the breath nice and slow, belly, chest, throat, throat, chest, belly. Inhale, belly, chest, throat. Exhale, throat, chest, belly. Take several breaths in this way. Take your time. There's no need for speed on this practice. Just body awareness. Just breath awareness. Again, inhale, expanding the belly, chest, throat. Exhale, relaxing the throat, chest, belly. Seal the lips and continue this practice through the nose only. Couple more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Last one. Inhale, pause, eyes closed. Notice the sensations in your body. Notice the way your body feels. Give yourself a little bit of a scan. Go ahead and start, whether at your toes or your head, wherever it feels natural to do so, and move slowly through the body, just taking note. No, try, Don't try to change anything, no judgment, no shame, no story attachment. Just notice where the body is at. You may still notice some tension. You may notice some relief. You may notice some buzzing. You may notice some shaking. You may notice all manner of things. There is no need to change anything. You are exactly where you need to be, exactly as you need to be. I encourage you to stay here in this moment as long as you would like to. When you feel complete, I invite you to either bring your hands together at your heart or simply lay one over the other, your heart over the other in gratitude for today's practice. In gratitude for the opportunity to practice self-care. In gratitude for these magnificent meat bags that house our souls that carry us through these lives. I'm so proud of you for taking the time to take care of your meat bag. It's the only one you got, my friend. Offer yourself a little gratitude for taking the time for self-care today. You did it. Fuck you out. Thank you so much for joining me. When you're ready to come out, I guess we weren't in deep meditation. So when you're ready to come out, go ahead and come out. <laughs>